What's up guys, it's Siobhan and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cartoon avatar or profile picture of your own self just like MKBHD or my profile picture right now. So the first step you guys need to take is get the image to trace and here's my client that I did one for just yesterday so this is a recent one. What you guys need to do is unlock your layer right there. As you can see we have the padlock on the right side you just want to click unlock and then you want to rename that layer so it can keep everything organized so i'm just going to rename this layer alex right here real quick and then i'm going to click the middle icon on the bottom of all these layer styles the middle icon and choose solid it's a solid color i'm going to choose a solid color now and i'm just randomly looking for a brownish color but i can't find none now so i'll just work with that one and it will give you two options right here so you just want to click the white icon and press Ctrl plus I and it will erase it and put it into the, the white icon which is the skin and it will turn black. So once it's turned black you know that everything is fine and now we're going to trace his skin. So his skin is basically his entire face so we're going to do that right now. So get grab the pen tool, that's the first thing you need. Just look over to your left side of Photoshop or press Ctrl P if you press ctrl p you'll get the pen tool but you can also go over on the left toolbar right over here let me just zoom in for you guys that's not the pen tool that's the path selection tool the pen tool is this one right here which is this pointy thing with an asterisk so once you have that you know it's the pen tool and now i'm just going to outline his entire skin the skin that's visible so once i have everything outlined it should be fine Guys, the pen tool is very easy to work. It uses anchor points. If you guys don't understand how to use the pen tool, let me know down below and I'll make a dedicated video on this pen tool for you guys. The reason I'm making this video is because um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how do I make it and it's kind of simple but maybe challenging if you're not used to Photoshop. But if you're used to Photoshop, it's very simple. So the first thing, we have two layers now and I'm just tracing the the skin of this boy yes so once it's traced you just want to right click and hit select layer um let me show you guys right click make selection okay once that's done you want to press ctrl and i if you're running adobe photoshop cs6 ctrl and i and it will disappear and create uh, um you will fill it which is right there ctrl plus i then you want to hit ctrl and d to get rid of the selective layer so you see the marching ants running around the face right now all you guys need to do is go ahead and press ctrl plus d so once you're done you just want to create another solid color and this would be his shadows so you can put in 757575 as the color code and then we're going to multiply it so let me just show you guys what this means just rename it to shadow I made a mistake with um, the selection so what I did was I hit the shadow in black and get the paint bucket and just touch it again so the whole rectangle box over there is going to be black hope you guys are following so now we can see a little dark icon like dark shadows underneath his eyelids and stuff so i'm going to just trace that with the pen tool real quick shouldn't take much time because i'm i'm speeding up this approximately took me one hour and 24 minutes to do and it should should have taken me less time but i haven't been, done this in a while that's why it took me so long so once you've done that, press Ctrl I, then Ctrl plus D to get the marching ants removed. So guys, once you have that done, you just want to go to the, select the colored, which is on the left, then go to normal and change it to multiply. So once that's on multiply, it gives it more of a shadowish look and you can also play around with the opacity or the fill in order to make it look more realistic although it's cartoonish but you also have like a realistic thing with a cartoon 
if you guys get what I'm saying. So now I'm just trying to find a better color skin tone for him. I'm still trying to play around with the colors. What you guys should do is just Google like skin color codes and just find the right skin color for the person because we don't want to be too like kind of racist you know we don't want to make them too black we don't want to make them too white but just speak with your client tell them to send a skin color code and you'll be good to go next up guys i'll be creating the, sh the shirts so i mean with the shirts no we're gonna create his eyes right yes so rename it white choose solid color white and we're going to use the pen tool and create his eyeballs so it's very simple to do make selection hit ok then you guys should know by now Control plus i that was a fail make selection boom yes Control plus i you can also duplicate the layer but what i did is that i went to the pen tool again just to make sure everything is perfect Control plus i again so that's what we have going on right now it looks good so far actually it looks very good so the only thing we're missing now is another solid color and for this solid color we're going to choose black because now we're going to trace his hair his beard not really beard his chin here and his shirt and his eyebrows so now just get in the pen tool fast forwarding everything and I'm now tracing his hair this guy has a big ass forward big ass forward boy big ass forward looking ass <laughs> anyways I had to try and make his forward look smaller but it was very difficult fire shirt on deck that, that fire shirt is kind of clean though it's very very clean but whatever let's do his eyebrows his eyebrows is not really on fleek but just gotta work with it it's our client who can't really say yo bro yeah so just trace his eyebrows everything that's black just trace it right now it's very easy to trace trust me you have you just um press ctrl and then right click and move the anchor points very very easy make selection ctrl plus i and it will fill in the selection then ctrl plus d to get rid of the marching ants and if you guys don't know the marching ants is the things that are circling around the solid color so here i'm using the pen tool again in the same black layer i'm doing everything that's black on this boy right now make selection okay ctrl plus i ctrl plus d to get rid of the marching ants and this is what we have so far you might think it look crazy but trust me the end result is absolutely amazing so as you can see we have a little blank skin up there what I did was created a new layer and just painted it black so created a new layer and painted it black and put it as hair placement and it looks pretty cool as of now so next up guys we need to get the eyeballs so I'm still using the black layer as you can see if you look over to the right of my panels my layer panels you see I'm on the black right now so you just want to use the pen tool make sure you're on black use the pen tool and just go around his eyeball right there or his pupil is it pupil or iris I, I haven't been in school for a while guys it's been a long Christmas don't judge me so that's his first one and his second one looks pretty cool let's just get this shadow over here all the shadows I'm getting all the shadows right now make sure when you're doing the shadows you're on the shadow layer so it's always important to rename it's always important to rename your layer so you keep everything organized and you know what is what at this very moment i'm just tracing out his shirt and if you guys look on the right side i'm on the black layer as well because i'm always organized like that and he, as you guys can see it's a very very good traced shirt now i'm going to do the shirt outline which is like the shirt shadows and the shirt color so for the shirt outline i'm going to use a dark gray color to show off the highlights as you can see white lights are bouncing on it so i'm randomly just going over the white highlights bouncing on the shirt to make you see like the crushes and the seams and all of that to give it a more realistic look it's nothing um professional i don't know what i'm doing fully i'm just playing around with it playing around with the opacity 
you guys have to just use the imagination i'm nowhere near a graphic designer or a, like an art person but as you can see right now i'm just using my imagination tracing out these outlines as you can see it looks like it looks more 3d and not so flat again that's the shirt color and i just change it from normal to lighting as you guys can see so once it's changed right there going around going around everything change that now i'm going to get the highlight red color the color highlight which is red change the opacity of the color so i can see the pink highlight right there make selection Control i same thing with the other color make selection Control i and just change the opacity now everything is looking more realistic i'm still playing around with the color of the shirt just to make sure that everything is looking realistic and on point now the only thing is missing right now is his facial structure so i'm still playing around with his skin tone as you guys can see at the bottom of his neck i'm going to make it a bit darker so i'm going for his skin again just the bottom half of his skin make selection and i'm going to use a darker tone of brown so i went on the internet and got some skin tone color codes i typed in light skin dark skin male color code and this is the one that i got for it so it looks pretty cool as i said before you guys can always google this stuff now i'm just making his ear shadow his nostril shadows and this is all on the black layer make sure you guys realize that everything i'm doing with black is on the black layer if it's highlights it's on the white layer if it's skin shadow it's on the skin shadow layer if it's skin it's on the skin layer look over to the right side of my panel you see that everything is organized the reason why this video is moving so fast is because if i actually made a video this long it'd be one hour and 25 minutes and that would be crazy so hopefully the voiceover is good for you guys and also the illustration that's going on is good now i'm creating a new solid color making it white because i'm going to do the highlights on his face the highlights on his face is basically the light reflecting off his face to make his nose and his forehead more visible i know you guys can see his forehead already because it's big as fuck but still we're giving him his lips a little more highlight as you can see the lights on his forehead and his nose i'm not sure if that's called contour or what but yeah then i use the erase tool and change the opacity of the highlights because if it's too white it's gonna look kind of fake so i just change the opacity and use the eraser zero hardness and went over some of them the hardest thing to do was his lips i don't know why it was just so cringy trying to do a guy's lips i was looking on this man's lips for like half an hour trying to figure out how the hell i'm going to do it so in the end i actually googled a lip vector and used one because this lip just looked like some kylie jenner shit and it just looked gay as hell and i think he would be mad with that so i didn't actually use this lip in the end you guys will see the finished product and just group everything i rename it cartoon and basically this is the finished product on the left and that's on the right if you guys like this video drop a like down below and always love peace and tweaks signing out